Hello my friends of Hatray Labs, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is for the online mapping okay, of urban temperature with Python and ITSOS. Okay, so this tutorial is related mostly to the retrieve the, um, the data that was stored on the cloud and, the day, and we created a device that records temperature, okay? And you can, if you want to recreate that, you can take this, um, well, we, we have connected a temperature sensor to a Raspberry Pi, and then we have sent the, send the information to the ITSOS cloud. However, we have used not only the temperatures, the the temperature but we also have connected a gps okay so with the gps and the temperature uh, using the mobile uh, point option in itsos we have recreated a mobile point so let me show you the the itsos apps hatarilabs.com slash itsos It is okay. Team viewer. Okay. Great. So we can enter the ITSOS as a viewer. And here we see that we have generated a, a generic geo sensor. Okay, this is how because this is a sensor that we record that we record not only the temperature but also the location okay and based on this temperature that is, that connects the location and the temperature okay we have done i mean we have gone to a nearby park and then we have taken lots of points and these points were uh, submitted to the cloud immediately and what we are going to do now, and this is something that you can do on your uh, by you can do by the if you download the data and then you place that on under your document folder. Okay, what you can do is that you can on Jupyter Lab. Um, let's restart clear all outputs. Okay. With a Python code, we can import the required packages. We can load the credentials, and you can also set the URL on of the ITSOS. You can define the times. Well, this is this is really related to the time of the of the time of the recording. Okay, and then we can get the observation. The observation will come as a TXT. We can transfer to a list, and from the list we can create a data frame, a panda data frame. From the panda data frame we can create a geo data frame, and then we can create a representation. So that so if we run this, we will what we will do or what we will have is this where the point circle is really exaggerated, but it it means the difference in between the media and the temperature so here we well we can we have some conclusions that on the park the temperatures are lower if we do a click we can get the temperature value okay but if and these are the temperatures are higher but if we want to do more analysis we can export we can uh, well we can show a heat map but this heat map shows more the density of the points it's not related to the density of the values but we can export the data to a shape file okay so here we see the chip file and the chip file is well we'll have imported the chip file the chip file is actually this one Okay, we have interpolated the chip file with this interpolation. Well, there is an interpolation. And then we have created the contours. And from the contours, we can see, and then we can have a better analysis of how is the temperature distribution with 
uh, and how this temperature distribution is related to the land cover. For example, we see higher, temper higher temperature uh, on the streets, while on the vegetated area we see um, we see around well around two and a half degrees less. Okay, and this type. Okay, even though that we have only sample two blocks, this type of analysis can be done with uh, with these online sensors in a really quick time, and this is and the analysis entirely is based entirely in open source. Okay, if you have followed the video till now, okay, um, maybe you wonder how can you implement this. Okay, so we have the codes and we have as well the this the database and then we are able i mean we want that you use our cloud we that where it's a server okay so but uh, so if you want to know how we can okay uh, for free okay so if you are interested just send me an email to soulmatoya at hatarilabs.com and then we can uh, talk uh, to because what it will be more important to you is that you create your own sensor and then from this that sensor you can store and retrieve the data and do your own analysis okay so that was all for me have a great day and see you in another tutorials okay all the codes will be in the description of the video bye bye bye